number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, I'm purse. I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. Hundred dollars for showing in a bit at you heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Get your money up, not your funny up, dummy. We out here, a whole lot of gang shit. You dig me? Dax and Screwface. I, I mean, Screwface, John, and Dax is out right now. Make sure you go streaming out. Wait, what did you change? I said Dax and Screwface, and I just kind of felt like that was weird. <laughs> okay. I don't know. So anyway, Screwface and Dax out right now. Make sure you go Dream cop Chaser. that. Dream Chaser is the name of the song. Cop that shit, dog. I yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm still um giving away... I know I said I was only going to do it for the pre-orders, but I'm still sending that thank you song to everybody who purchases the song and sends me proof of purchase. Still sending that to everybody. So y'all keep doing that. I've had a lot the last few days. That thank you song can still be yours. Just purchase the song. Email me proof of purchase at S-C-R-U-F-A-C-E-J-E-A-N at gmail.com. Make sure yeah. you cop that Stupid for the Fans merch. That shit out now. Make sure you go cop that. Monthly podcast merch that's coming out soon. Where the old stuff? Cause it's still hot. You know what I mean? I thought you was pro. You ugly as hell, dog. Yo, so today, what are we talking about today, today, dude? We got a lot of discussion. Shout out to Oddball. I like Listen, him. So I'm gonna keep it a uh, uh, hundred, a hundred band family with you niggas. I have. We have nothing to talk about because nothing has been happening in hip-hop. Nothing. Well, not even in pop culture. Nothing has been happening. Nothing. And I refuse, and I'm going to keep saying this, I refuse to do this R. Kelly shit, man. I refuse to pretend like I'm surprised at this R. Kelly shit. I refuse that. So if you're not talking about R. Kelly, nigga, you basically just quiet on the net right now. Facts. You know what I mean? It's quiet out here. So, yo. Yeah. So, so we're going to talk about today something that is evergreen, something that, you know, can be talked about at any time, which is what is the best label? And I think we're going to make this a new little series, little head-to-head -head joints. And um, the we're going between Cash Money and Young, uh, no, Cash Money and... Uh, Shady. What up? Shady. Shady, Shady, I'm tripping. Yeah, what was the best? Like, my nigga, my you best. serious, bro? Yeah, I mean, you can... What was the best flip? That's what we're going to do. Facts. So we're going to compare and contrast. This is just for educational purposes only. So don't think that if one person or another person says one thing, that they're trying to attack the other. Okay, disclaimer, thank you. All right, boom. So, yo, so how are we going to kick this? This is just for fun. Don't be a little bitch. Facts. So, how are we going to kick this shit off right, bro? Well, I guess we're going to have to take a label and just go in. I uh, Was I shady? You're, you're shady. Okay, I'm shady. And I'm cash money. But this is not how I feel. Just disclaimer. Like, let me know. Let y'all know that I don't know if I feel this way. We're, and so that's why we're, you know. And here is the, um, what's it called? The rule. Explain the rules to him. All right, so what, 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 we're going to use somewhat of the umbrellas, meaning like <laughs> the people that they spawned off of other people, people that were signed to the label at one time, people that, you know, were involved with their label and stuff like that, that were signed to them, um, worked with them, you know, helped create whatever, I guess. Um, but we're not going to use like, uh, basically, if they're a part of the label, we're going to use them to an extent. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So should, and what, what the criteria we're looking at is impact, like we always do. Facts, impact, album sales, uh, talent level of the of the rosters. Um, who you know what? Um, if you if you take one label out of hip hop, what what hurts the most? Which is basically impact. Um, and what else? We, whatever else we can think. Of. You want to start it? Yeah. Right. Off top, I'm gonna say. Just as a thesis statement, Shady Records is is is, is killing Cash Money. 
That's kind of like I'm not gonna like just let you just say that. Like you're not just gonna like start this shit off and be like, I mean, oh yo, by wrong. the way, it's not like killing it. Like I can't no. say that because I mean, I, what makes you say that? Shady Records. Before I even start getting into the fact, fact, facts, Shady Records. At one point, because Cash Money had this at one point too, they didn't have it for the whole entire duration of the thing. Facts, at one yeah, point, yeah. had the Midas Touch. Yeah. And the Midas Touch, well over Cash Money. Well over Cash Money. And meaning what? It, meaning what? Longer? No, the Midas Touch meaning the scale of what, how much gold they got for everything they touched. Okay. Okay. So. If we're talking about a label, what is a label's job, right? We're just talking about the thesis. At the end of the day, what is a label's job? A label's job is to get an artist and make them as popular as possible so you can sell as many records as possible. Correct? Yeah. Here's my argument, just before we get into facts. How many artists... Well, I guess that's, I guess that's right, too, because I'm trying to think. How many artists of... Cash Money have over 2 million CD sales. Does it have to be individual or can it be collaborative? No, it's got to be individual. Well, I'm saying, does the Hot Boys count as well as Lil Wayne count? Or if you say the Hot Boys, you can't say Lil Wayne. I mean, well, you know what I'm saying. Well, they're two different albums. Uh... Yeah, I'll let it rock, I guess, yeah. They're two different albums. Because, I mean, if that's the case, we got definitely Juvenile. Big Timers was selling crazy Did you go two times? I mean, I, I'm going to look that up, but I'm going to just tell you. Probably. Yeah. Okay, so Juvenile, BG definitely didn't. Be- BG definitely Turk, didn't. Turk definitely Turk didn't. didn't. No, nope, Turk Does didn't. Manny Fresh have a platinum album? I mean, he produces, so I mean, that's kind of a hard question. I mean, he also raps. He has songs, right? Yeah, but like, I mean, as far as him being a producer, he produced a lot of... No, we're talking about artist to artist. I'm saying He's not like an artist. I wouldn't know. I doubt that he has a platinum album. Okay, cool. So are you not counting Manny Fresh as a cash money artist? Well, he's a cash money artist, but I'm saying like his his impact, I think to me, his... best direct impact is going to definitely be production. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but that's not what we're going to say. We're not going to just go off their best foot. We're going to go off both feet. I'm saying as artists, as the roster, right? You got to look at them as I artists. will say, I, off re- I'm going to just say, because that I, I'm not even going to try to let, I, I understand that angle of the argument. I mean, the, the album sales wise, I can't argue that. I mean, 100% shady, without a doubt, just off 50 now, Cent and just off Eminem alone have outsold. Let's not even do it. No, no, let's throw shady and, and Eminem out. I mean, and 50 out there. We're talking about D12. We're talking about Obi Trice. We're talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold we're up. Talking about- Hold up. Hold up. I might have lied. I mean, they definitely didn't sell more. But my nigga, 400 degrees, four times platinum. Chopper City BG, platinum. Guerrilla Warfare Hot Boys, platinum. G Code, Juvenile, platinum. The Block is Hot Lil Way, 99, platinum. This is all before 2000. But fam, though, you literally, how many, there's Little Way's on there twice. And. No, he's not. You said 400 degrees, and then you said. Um, 400 degrees is Juvenile's album. Oh, oh, okay, then Juvenile's on there twice. Yeah, Somebody's but it's two twice. completely different albums. I feel you, but I'm saying, we're saying the artist. We're saying, like, if the artist can go platinum, he should be able to go platinum again, right? So if if, if, if 50 goes 13, he should be able to dip at least do four, right? Yeah. Mill, right? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, if... That was in 98, so yeah, that was before, like, Eminem was super, super popping. That was literally the year before Eminem was super Right, popping. right, right, right. So, but what I'm saying is... That that may be a point, that they had people in there who going platinum. Now, this point may be weird, but follow me if you follow me, though. My bad. What? 
I think Shady has, and we're talking about the label, remember, I think Shady as a label has made more people, I'll put it this way, it's hard to explain, but it's about what it took to get platinum. That's why I say with the juvenile, if he's on there twice, I feel like whether or not if he would have been on Cash Money or not, that second album would have done numbers just because of the, the fall off of the first one. I'm saying who needed that the, the, the entity to go? Shady Records has a bunch of people who sold way more records than they were supposed to. It was clearly the Shady yeah. button that made them sell them, them numbers. But that's kind of like unfair though because, I mean, all in all, the reason why Cash Money was the way that it was because they were pretty much a group. Whether it was the 504 Boys, the Hot Boys, whether it was, you know, th they were all essentially from the same thing. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like... It, it's it was basically like a, a hip hop group that all split up and did their individual thing. So it's like as an individual, like it would be as like this, right? It would be like Slaughterhouse, right? And how Slaughterhouse, if Slaughterhouse, all their artists drops individual albums and then all of their artists go platinum. All of all of the Cash Money album, all of the Cash Money people were going platinum. Bizarre wasn't going platinum, is what I'm saying. You know oh, what I mean? Uh, wait, what? Like I'm saying, D12 was going platinum. Bizarre wasn't dropping an individual album and going platinum. But though. that's not fair. You literally, you created that scenario because they're not a group. They're not all together as a group. You said they're basically D12 a is. No, no, no. We're talking about uh, Hot Bull, uh, Cash Money. Yeah, I know. I was saying at one time, but I'm saying when they started... They all started together. They didn't start as individual acts. They didn't all... The Hot Boys were not the same. Yeah, they did. What do you they mean? They all come out at the same time. I mean, they, they had... No, but I'm saying, like, the Hot Boys developed from this and that. I don't know exactly the order. What I'm saying what I'm saying is... Okay, what I'm saying is Cash Money, the record label, was not a group. Hot Boys was a group. They moved as one. Now, yes. you can say, technically... They were kind of like a group. They were definitely not, uh, basically a group, my nigga. But, then, like, but then that's not fair to then, because you still create that scenario, then you use that made-up scenario to, to, to argue a real That's not a made-up scenario. They were a group. It is, because they weren't a group like D12. Was yeah, but I'm saying it doesn't matter if they're a group like D12 or not. I'm saying D12 was a group, and individually those niggas didn't do the same numbers as they because, did together. Because what I'm saying is that you're... you're those are still solo artists, Cash Money. You're still but not solo. really, though. They weren't yes, so... They my are. nigga, Wayne was not looked at as a solo artist until he dropped the block. It's hot. What are we talking about, son? My Juvenile nigga, was not looked at a, label, like an individual listen. artist until he dropped... The you're talking about Shady, who got Eminem, who Eminem made a group that was a group. Correct. And was moved and promoted and sold as a group. Correct. Right? And that's where they stay. Correct. You're talking about people who you can consider a group who started as a label and then made it as individual artists. Okay, but why? Okay, but there. listen, I feel you. But my point is, is that their D12 success in its well, whole it was they, based they off supposed of... supposed to be a group. What? I'll put it this way. Those... Uh, 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 cash money as a label wasn't supposed to be a group. They weren't marketed as a group. They might have came out and done stuff together, but the Hot Boys was marketed as a group. They weren't D twelve. There's different marketing that goes in there, and there. That so it's not fair to say like my nigga, the five hundred four boys, the Hot Boys were all, were both. No, that, bro, that's how that's, they were known. What are you talking there about? Was no, there was no shady effect. There was. But no, that's, that's because not, shady is the nigga that because slim. I mean because Eminem is the nigga that the only reason why D twelve was big like that not because of D twelve. So why that those are two? I'm just saying that those scenarios are not the same, and you're trying to equate. That's a false equivalence. They were those all okay. Okay, my question is this: Were the Hot Boys a group? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were the 504 boys a group, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Were the 504 boys, did they all individually drop their own projects, yes or no? You're, you're, you're confused. 504 boys have nothing to do with cash money. Okay, so the hot, how did they, wait, I thought they were signed up cash money. 
Bubba Four Boys was no limit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so Hot Boy, my bad. Hot Boys. So Hot Boys, you gonna say that? They're, okay, so they were a group. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so when they were not no longer doing only two, only what? Only Turk wasn't successful. That's the only nigga that wasn't. I mean, my nigga, that's okay. So hold on. BG right Wayne and, right, and Juvenile. BGJ Wayne and Juvenile all drop are multi platinum recording artists. Okay. But of a group of four, three of them were successful. And I don't know how successful BG stayed. Like, he, he really. I, don't, really I mean, BG, uh, he only had a couple. I mean, he did so, his thing at the time being, but he's been in jail most of the time. By your metaphor, right? Cash money is 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 the the shady right and if you want to say that they're a group and the hot boys would be the d12 of that group right so if some of them were not as successful later on without the label especially without the and that's another thing how many of them were successful without the label and within the label really i mean so but i'm saying if those people were like that then that's what i'm saying is D12 is marketed more like hot boys, not like cash money records. I kept, I meant to say big timers. Not, I don't know why I kept saying 504 boys. I meant to say big timers. I don't know why I was sitting there for so long, kept saying the same thing. But, um, yeah, big well, timers. Big timers only, I mean, big timers, if you can't find a platinum baby first album, then only one of them becomes successful. Well, big time. I mean, but he was more of a producer. He was just a nigga that was rapping. So, yeah, but that's the, at, at the point when he's rapping, he's an artist. He got to be treated like an artist. That's not okay. Fair. So then, if we're treating niggas like artists, then D Twelve was fucking whack. Like, what are we saying, my nigga? They were not what doing is, the same thing individual. The only is, reason why them niggas was popping was because of Eminem. Okay, but by your own argument, right? The the the, the groups that were in Cash Money was not as successful as, as Wayne was not as successful as juvenile but my There's nigga more. wayne's success didn't come until way later than that what does that have to do with arguing the two groups right you're saying that because you're trying to argue cash money as the group really it's not big timers would be the group uh hot boys would be the group, okay right? and both so the niggas like, went platinum my nigga d12 went platinum and then you said separately what did they do big timers 50% of them was only successful as an F. That's a bad, that's worse than D12. Does so, Manny, hold on, Manny Fresh got us an individual album? Does he? That's what I'm saying. If he does, I'm about to look. I'm asking you, show me a platinum Manny, Manny Fresh record. He ain't no fucking rapper. But that, it's not fair. What the Mind of Manny happen? Fresh in 2004. Hold on, let me see if that shit went platinum. Definitely not fair. You can't just not. If you're in there, you got you playing in, the, in that ring. Then you must get the same rules at that point. We're not talking about beat battles. We're talking about big timers. Big timers is not a production group. He was rapping. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think Manny Fresh has a platinum album, bro. I'll put it this way. I bet you if they, if he does have an album. There, I could probably find you another person on D12 whose solo project might have sold more, and I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe not. It depends. But D12 was one group, too, that... How much did uh, the hot time, the Big Timers record sell? Um, hold on. I think D12 about how sold that thing is. As a group. Yes, sir. Can I ever try to pull the knife on me? Oh no, Fifty Cent is a shady artist. Fifty yeah, is a shady artist. I mean, artist. Fifty. That's why I said Fifty and um. But nah, not even on some umbrella shit. He's literally a shady artist. Yeah. Somebody said that when we did uh. That video about him recently. Why I wish there was just the oh the shady shit page. all over Cash Money. I, I'm not. I haven't even been pulled out Fifty. I mean, I said that though. I said album sales. Why? I'm just saying as everything far, wise, like I can't say that. My I can't nigga, say that. We wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
everything I get, that I get the impact. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get the impact Wayne has. That's the most. Colossal. It's not even just Wayne though. Hold on, Juvenile but that's too. the most. But you, but you agree that's the most potent impact of that of that label, right? Of any artist out that label, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm, him and Drake. Him and Drake. So him and Drake would be the Eminem and Fifty Cent. And Nicki correct? Minaj. 